So after making the bubble berry and the cog, I was thinking how I would be able to like expand on their mechanic because you know the cog and the bubble berry is kind of like yin and yang because one is very light and the other is like supposed to be heavier and it got me thinking if I can make an enemy equivalent of the bubble berry like one that could probably blow you away or something and uh, that reminded me of an enemy from Liu Su uh, of all places it's basically just an enemy that blows out bug and uh, obscures your vision and nothing deadly so I thought I could maybe make something like that and uh, but instead it blows you away actually I think there's something like that in Mario 64 as well that does exactly what I'm saying but anyway, now we have to think about uh, the appearance of the enemy. It could be just a cloud, but first of all, I already have cloud and used that design before. Second, it cannot just be a carbon copy of another enemy. This, there's already way too many of them in my games. So, I had an idea. What if it's a reverse pufferfish? <laughs> that deflates and blows you away when it gets frightened and inflates when it feels safe. So I got on and started animating a puffer fish. So before I started to animate the full thing, I first started with a basic shape and then animate in a similar manner to how people would animate a bouncy ball. Then I can move on, but first we have to go on a little bit of tangent because I'm the CEO of being distracted and a little question popped into my head That being Hmm, do powerfish actually inflate that fast? Like Hmm, do you ever wonder if the things you see in cartoons are actually real? Trust me, it's an interesting question because the last time I had like this kind of suspicion about how an animal work is like my knowledge was like proven wrong because obviously a frog's tongue shouldn't reach that long but I didn't know and I'm a smelly frog so I quickly looked it up on Google and apparently uh, the video I saw the power fish actually takes a while to inflate like approximately like 30 seconds if I can remember but maybe there's actually power fish that inflates like instantly like how I always see in like cartoons and stuff but uh, that's not the stuff I should be focusing on right now so I promptly got back to animate the pufferfish so I gave this pufferfish a proper design and finished the entire animation of uh, its inflation and I gotta say I'm very proud of it it looks very bouncy and slick so I excitedly showed this to my sister and I was like, hey, Jie, Jie, you can, you can, I put a powder, I let it, I let it bounce up. And then my sister was like, this is Zhang Yusao, ma. I get that, I get that they're both sea animals, but why is that your first, why is that the first thing that comes to your mind? Oh my god. And that's why I decided to name this enemy Takapapi, being a combination of takoyaki and pufferfish, and also. Takayaki with an A because I spelled it wrong, so I'm sticking with it. Actually, maybe Takoyaki would be a better name. Anyway, Zhang Yu He Tun. He Tun Sao be more accurate. So now let's talk about the design of this enemy. So, uh, since Pufferfish is very bum, puffy and bouncy, I thought it would be interesting. Uh, to make it so it's the only enemy that's like tangible but not edible uh, if that makes sense like it's kind of like what I wanted to achieve with Jim and but the thing with Jim is that uh, it hurts the player when the player tries to tongue it and it kind of like punishes the player for trying it's kind of not a good design, not an intuitive one, because uh, if you present the player with a cactus in the licking game, the player will undoubtedly lick the cactus anyway. 
even though it's probably gonna get them hurt. And that's why the power fish would be a great annoying to kill enemy. So I decided to give it a little cool you know, popping movement pattern. And when the player tries to attack it or uh, throw a projectile at it, it will inflate and turn into this puppy and floaty state. And when it lands, it goes off and blows the player away. I feel like I finally designed an enemy that can both annoy the crap out of the player and also aid them on their platforming, which I think is a great enemy design. But now comes the question, how do you defeat it? Now I've made a point that it's supposed to be a very annoying to kill enemy, but there's actually a way to kill it, unlike Jim, which is uh, completely unkillable. After deflating, it has this little uh, resting state. It's in that last for like a second, and in that state, the power fish is actually completely vulnerable and behaves like uh, most other enemies in the game. And that's how you can defeat it if you even want to. Like, I kind of made it so it's not even like worth it to defeat it. Like, if you somehow decide to swallow it, it also damages you, so that's awesome. Because power fish are poisonous, you know? And yet, uh, humans feast on them. Anyway, now that this enemy exists, the cog finally has a use now. So you can hold the cog to avoid getting uh, blown away by it. Even though by default it isn't inflated. I kind of made a point of how I wanted to make it reverse puffer fish and now it's just no more puffer fish. I don't know. Maybe I can make a variant of it in the future. But before I end this off, I also uh, actually want to show you how I make the sound effect for it. And it's exactly the same program I use to compose music and it's with Family Tracker. And you can see that there's uh, exactly four sound effects here. One for the uh, inflation, one for jumping and landing, and the other for the deflating. And here is how it sounds like. This is the deflating. And this is the jump, and this is the inflation. So yeah, that's how I, how this sound like. And uh, usually I don't put that much effort into making them, even though I do make them by hand using this uh, instrument editor. But yeah, you can see I actually try to tinker around with it more, and I'm quite proud of the results. Uh, anyway, uh, that's the entire process of how I come up with this enemy, and I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, let me know how you feel about it in the comments. Uh, and I'll see you in the next devlog. Uh.